But I think you were stated in the press as saying that's the best quarter of football you've ever seen any side play that Carlton put on in the first quarter yesterday. Not about any side, but certainly since I've been coaching, uh, Lou. Well, since you've been coaching for... Yeah. Well, David, is it a problem? How do you keep the players two feet on the ground after such a brilliant display? Are you worried about them getting big-headed or complacent about it? We've been uh, pretty heavily criticised for that already, Lou. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard, and, and, and within a game too, Lou, to, um, to continue at the rate that we were working and, uh, and scoring. It's very hard. Now, that's not taking anything away from South Melbourne, because I thought in the third quarter, they played equally as well as we did at one stage of the game. I think kicked seven goals almost without us kicking yeah. a goal. So uh, I think we realise that it's, it's a matter of being able to continue that way, but it's very difficult to get sides to work at that pressure all day long. But does it worry you that, uh, you know, that this could creep into, the, into their uh, make-up, that they could become a little bit complacent because they were so superior yesterday? Just, it's only one quarter, Lou, really. The rest of the game we played reasonably well, like you would in a normal game, but we haven't played well consistently this year, Lou, and until we do that, we, there certainly shouldn't be any complacency in our side at all. And we're turning them over at a fair rate. We've got lots of players out who are capable of being in, and the moment they don't perform as individuals, they've just got to lose their place in the side. Barry, uh, as captain and as a player of the side, your coach was quoted as saying that... Uh, he was disgusted with the performance. The team was lazy, insipid and big-headed. As captain and as a player, how do you react to that? Oh, I think uh, whatever criticism we get after yesterday's effort is probably uh, justified, Lou. It was a very poor performance and uh, without taking anything away from Carlton, we know that we can play a lot better. Where would the big-headed part come into it? Because you really, you know, you've, uh, you really haven't set the world on fire yet, have you? No, that's right. I think, uh, oh, maybe big-headed might not apply, but uh, insipid and the other one certainly did. Barry, how did you feel out there when this, that 12 goals, five bursts came on in that quarter? What actually went wrong with your team to allow them to do that? Well, uh, I was pretty happy I won the toss and kicked with the wind. I just uh, wondered how many goals I would have kicked if I had gone against the wind. <laughs> David, uh, you must be laughing all the way to the Premiership, eh, with a performance like that yesterday? Oh, Lou, I've been... I've... <laughs> well, this is the point I was making on the first question, David. Look, I've been through it too many times before, Lou, unsuccessfully, and uh, it's too early to be making any predictions about anything. Uh, where you finish seems to be terribly important. Our first aim is to make the five in a position that'll give you a, cha a real chance to win the Premiership. And that can't be four or five, it's got to be one, two or three. And there's plenty of red-hot competition left in the VFL still for those three positions. And I'll be delighted if Carlton can finish at the end of the home and home way in one, two or three, preferably in one, which still appears to be the best place to finish. What but about, uh, David, you had the, so much strength there so you could allow, uh, allow to have Mark Coo on the interchange bench for three quarters and Sheldon playing in the reserves? God, any other side would give their left arm to have it be in a position like that? Well, long before my time at Carlton, Lou, I think they've, they've understood very, very well how important depth is. And uh, quality of players is only half the, uh, half the bet. If you, if you have injuries, as we've had, and we've had almost as many injuries as every other side, but we can replace them with players who are really up to the standard, not a bit below, then you, you come up with a side that's equally as strong. Barry, how long can you afford to play with that bad calf? And did it affect you yesterday? Oh, it's restricted well, me a little bit. Well, can I ask this question? Are you doing the wrong thing by playing with that bad calf? Oh, it's just about right now, Lou. I didn't damage it at all yesterday. I got a couple of kicks on the same leg, but uh, the, uh, the calf muscle came up all right. And next week, you know, I should be right. I sort of rucked three quarters yesterday. And uh, even though the plan before the game was to spend most of the day on the forward line... Well, you uh, couldn't do that, could you? Oh, well, had to try something. We got to the stage where South is just a Sydney winning team? No, I, I don't think so, Lou. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to say that, I suppose. But uh, we definitely play better at home, as do all sides. But, uh, you know, we've just got to learn that uh, to play against sides like Carlton and uh, beat them is, uh, you know, it's just going to take that much more effort. Well, OK, thanks, Barry, and thanks, David. Excuse me, David.